Okay, I hope you enjoyed exploring some of those instruments on that website. Now, to end today, we are going to be doing some rhythms, but I want to kind of differentiate the rhythms based on instruments of the orchestra, just to help figure out what each of them sound like. So, we're going to start with the bass, which is the biggest, lowest instrument of the orchestra. And so, because it's the lowest, it acts as kind of a foundation of which all the other instruments kind of are built on top of it. So because of that, it usually holds notes because it's acting as this sort of just like grounding, foundational, like and all the other notes are kind of on top of it, just moving around. And the bass just kind of acts as our home where we find where the melody sits. So because of that, I thought we would do some rhythms that are longer notes that are held. So I want to take a look at this. Do you recognize these notes? It's okay if you don't. If you do, great. If not, I'll tell you what they are. These are half notes. And they're called half notes because they take up half of our four beats. So, you know, we count one, two, three, four. So this first one takes up two of the beats, half of the beats, because it's a half note. So we say, ta, ta, because this takes up two, one, two, and this takes up another two, three, four. So if we said this, it would sound like this. Ready, go. Ta, ta. So there you have it. Can you try speaking that with me while padding a steady beat somewhere? Ready, and uh, here we go. Ta, ta. So this might be something that a bass would play because it just has that resounding dum, 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 something like that, that it might be playing. So it might be playing these half notes. Now, we also might have this. And you recognize this? This is what we just were looking at, another half note. This, what do you think this is? It's not a note like this, it's a rest, which means we don't play or sing or make any noise while this is happening. And if we have four beats, and we know that this takes up two beats, and this is the only other thing on our page, how many beats do you think this takes up? Two, because we have one, two, three, four, but we don't do anything on those two beats. So this one would sound like this. Ta, ta, because we have two beats of rest. Does that make sense? Cool. Now this one, we know these notes are ta, ta. They take up one beat each, and this takes up two beats. Ta, ta, ta. Can you try speaking this with me while tapping your steady beat? Ready, and uh, here we go. Ta, ta, ta. Very good. Now, this is a very special note. This is called a whole note. Do you notice how it looks like the half note? It just doesn't have the stem, the big line on top. It's just a circle that's not filled in. It's an empty circle. And this is called a whole note. And it means whole because it takes up the whole four beats. So it would sound like this. Ta. It's very long. It's a very long note, but it just takes up four beats. Ta. 
So there you have it. Those are some things that our bass might play. Now, let's take a look at some things our cello might play. The cello is also pretty low, and it's slightly smaller than the bass, but it's bigger than the violin and the viola. So, I included in the cello's rhythms all the rhythms that have tt's and ta's. So what does this one have? This one just has four ta's. Ta, 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 ta. Can you try speaking that with me? Ready and a, uh, here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Pretty easy, right? Let's find one that's a little more complicated. This one has ta and ti ti. So let's try speaking this one. Ready and a, uh, here we go. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Very good, thank you so much. How about this one? More ti ti's and ta's. Ready and a, uh, here we go. Ti 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 ta ta. Cool. Well, I feel pretty good about those. Let's move on to the viola. The viola. I included this one, the quarter rest. Do you see this? It means it's one beat of rest. So we don't make any noise on this beat or this beat. Let's see if we can speak it. Ready and a, uh, here we go. T T T T. Should we try that one more time? Make sure you don't say anything on this beat or this beat. Ready and a, uh, here we go. T T T T. How'd you do? Did you do good? Let's try another one. Now we just have one of these rests on the last beat. So on that last beat, beat four, we're not going to say anything. We're not going to make any noise. Ready and a, uh, here we go. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Let's do one more of these. This one's kind of tricky. We have two of those rests in the middle. So we have a ta on each side. Don't say anything during these two beats. Ready and a, uh, here we go. Ta, ta. Did you get it? Did you know when to come in on that fourth beat? Were you keeping the tempo inside your head kind of? Feel that heartbeat. Ready and a, uh, here we go. Ta, ta. Very good. So there were some rhythms that had that rest in them. Now I saved the last for the fastest. We have the violin. Now the violin is the highest instrument in the orchestra and it's also very small, which is why it's the highest because the sound is like, it's just all crunched up inside. And it plays the melody, usually. And the melody sometimes can be very fast. So for the violin, I chose rhythms that had Takadimi, because we know so far that's our fastest rhythm. We have the whole note, which is really long. It's like ta. Then we have the half note. That's just two beats. So it's just ta. Then we have ta, which is shorter. Then we have ti ti, which is even shorter. And then we have takadimi which is very quick. It's four whole notes that are put into one beat. Takadimi. So you have to say it pretty quick, otherwise you can't get through all the notes in the one beat. So the violin plays some fast rhythms when it's playing the melody. So here are some rhythms that might be played by, by the violin. Let's see if we can speak it. Ready and a, uh, here we go. Takadimi T. That's not T. Oh my gosh, that's Ta. I was going to say T T, but that's there. This is Ta. Let's try it again, just for me, because I screwed up. Ready and a, uh, here we go. Takadimi Ta, T T Ta.
Very good. Let's try this one. Ready and a here we go. T T Takadini Ta Ta. Let's see what else I have. Let's find a really, really hard one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be our last one because it's the hardest. Who knows? Honestly, you might be just fine with this one though. Look it. I say it's hard just because there's a lot of notes, but I think you can do it because we know what all the notes are and we know how to speak them. Let's try it together. Ready and uh, here we go. Taka dimi, taka dimi, ta, ti, ti, ta. See, I knew it was hard. I messed up. Let's try it again. How did you do? I bet you didn't mess up because you're so smart. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Taka dimi, taka dimi, ti, ti, ta. One more time, just for good measure. Here we go. Ready and uh, here we go. Taka dimi, taka dimi, ti, ti, ta. We did it! So those are some rhythms that might be played by instruments of the orchestra. Good job following along with me, friends. Thank you for joining me for today's lesson. I'll see you later.